What's up everyone, Pwimble here. Today I'm going to show off my uh, automated boat docking and reloading system that I uh, just put together. Uh, the initial part, the, the boat dock, automated boat dock isn't new. It's uh, When I get there I'll show you. You push the button and the boat flies out of the water so you can get into it. Um, I actually learned of that from a YouTube video and I thought that was pretty pretty handy so I put that together. But uh, the second part, the reloading system, I haven't seen anyone do and I thought all the videos I watched showed uh, people destroying their boats after they were using them and I thought there has to be a way that you could get your boat back down into the hoppers without destroying them. So I came up with this and so I'll show you. So if you haven't seen this, you push the button and up flies your boat. Very, very handy. Um, the problem is when you destroy a boat, you can't just pick it up. It breaks off into sticks and, uh, and planks. So I created this. Um, basically it's just a giant tunnel that you drop your boat off into as such and it goes and resets itself into the hopper. Uh, I'll follow it down so I can kind of show you how I did it. The, the tricky thing was to make it so that your boat didn't break on anything. So you had to build up the walls a little bit and make sure that your current is constantly pushing it in the right direction. And so that's how that works. Um, it took a lot of fine tuning with the current and stuff to make it get go exactly where I wanted it to every time. But uh, after about a half hour of working with it, I got it to work all right. Um, if you haven't seen this before, this is uh, how the boat dock automated boat system works. Um, basically, you have all these doors hooked up to your button with redstone, and when you push the button, the doors open for a few seconds and then close, thus uh, moving the boats down as you push the button. So there's never a, a, a blank. And to reload this, initially you'd break your boats up top and then throw them in like this. Oops. Don't want to be in the water. And you have to reload it manually, which, uh, although it's not a big pain, uh, I thought there had to be a bit easier way, which is why I created the uh, reloading system. Um, if you want to know uh, more about uh, redstone wiring and stuff, there's some good YouTube videos out there to show you how to do that. Um, Really, this wasn't hard to make. It was just uh, a lot of trial and error trying to make it so that one, your boat didn't break, and two, the boat got into the right spot in the hopper. So I'll show you this again. Um, one problem is the boat still has a tendency of breaking about uh, one out of every four times, like that, um, just because of how, how flimsy the boats are. Uh, I haven't been able to fine tune it enough so that the boats never break, but I feel like uh, the boats have a overall damage that if they take a little bit, then they're they're gonna retain that damage, so they won't be as sturdy the next time you use it. And I think that my system, as they go down, it damages them a bit, so that the second time they go down, they break every time. And that's the only thing I could really think of. But uh, if anyone knows anything about that, you should let me know in the comments. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, I'd love to show you more or how I did it. Uh, so thanks for watching.